everybody thank you for coming to another entrepreneur video and today we got a special one we got two hustles i'm gonna tell you about pressure washing and solar panel with the homie mark how you doing today mark how's it going everybody mark summers from am pressure washing all right and what do you do here man all right today we want to talk to you about solar panel cleaning i build custom skids i build three different models of these skids that everybody is in love with so I'm gonna show you my showroom where we have you know, some parts in stock if you ever need any additional parts, auto detailing supplies, window cleaning supplies, parts for your pressure washer, wands, surface cleaners, and then we're gonna go out in the warehouse and I'm gonna show you how we build these skids. Well, you're gonna see how they work and we're gonna go clean a couple solar panels today. We're gonna to go to my neighborhood. We got two homes. We're gonna show you uh, multiple ways to clean them. We're gonna show you how to get rid of all these myth busters out there in this you know, social media world that rain cleans your solar panels negative. Rain does not clean your solar panels. Does it clean your car? No, nope. you gotta clean your car. You gotta clean your solar panels. So today we're gonna to show you how to maintain these solar panels and get the bang for the buck so we can keep them solar panels generating power. Hey, Mark, you're gonna start a lot of beef, bro? Because don't solar panel companies say, hey, you don't need to maintenance them. This is the problem with solar panel installation companies. They will sell you and tell you your solar panels are maintenance free, that you don't have to do nothing. They are wrong for doing that to the public. And I do not like what they do to the public, so therefore I'm gonna show you how wrong they are and maybe this will end all that stuff and people can start, you know, trusting companies when they install solar panels. But you do have to do maintenance. You may maintain yourself, you maintain your car, you maintain your home, maintain your solar panels. All right, guys, so you guys are gonna get a lot of free night and knowledge in this video. You ready, Mark? I'm ready, let's That's do this, cool. guys. All right, Mark, so we're right here at your warehouse, nice office. Okay, specifically, what do you do here? All right, here I run a 24-7 pressure washing company. I've got guys working all over the place. So not only do we do pressure washing, when COVID hit, I had people coming to me that that little government check wasn't paying their mortgage, wasn't paying their auto loans. They're like, Mark, what can I do? So I give them three options. I said, you can do auto detailing, you can do window cleaning, or you can do solar panel cleaning at a low minimum cost. So the parts that you buy, the equipment that you buy are these skids. So when I started building them, I never dreamed it was gonna take off the way it did. So Henry from SoCal Solar Panel Cleaning is here. Ray Rodriguez is here. They bought my skid, their business blew up. So out of every customer I've had, only one customer sold his skid because his wife has health issues and he had to be full-time caretaker. That is the only customer that ever sold my piece of equipment. Everybody is killing it. The thing about us, we do not brag, we do not try to promote the business. Numbers show what they do. So we're gonna show you all that today. All right, man. So what's the first thing you wanna show me, Mark? Ready to go? Let's go. All right, we in, our, in my showroom, I keep pressure washers with burners, I keep auto detailing supplies, we keep graffiti remover, I keep these foam cannons. These are a commercial foam cannon. This gallon of soap, it's heavy, heavy concentrated. I use this on everything. Uh, one bottle can do between 350 to 400 cars. That's how heavy concentrated it is. Most soaps that you spray on the cars do not stick. They just kind of run off. This soap sticks and takes the dirt off. We have parts and accessories. All these little parts right here we keep in bulk out in the shop. I got one. I've got extra pumps for the skids that I build. These are the engines that goes on the skids. So they just come on a little cart, but we take these off. We have our own skids. Uh, we have assortment of hose reels. I even do wall mount units in garages or in your business. Uh, we do have the microfiber towels. We have surface cleaners. If we don't have it, I can get it for you. So in our warehouse, this is where we do all of our production. So this is skid, uh, the very uh, beginning phases of the skid being built. So we got the hose reel, the engine, the tank. So we'll start plumbing everything, start mounting everything. We have all of our assortment of parts to build these skids. So let's turn around. Let's see the magic happen right here, guys and gals. So back when COVID hit is when, you know, people started coming to me needing um, to make a living. So this one right here, I call the 3.0, the low rider. If you have a pickup that has a bed cover, this will slide in there. You can cover it up out of sight, out of mind. 
that helps you on getting your product being stolen. The world is crazy right now. I've already then had three customers lose all their equipment. So I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna give you some numbers right now. So the 3.0 is $3,500. The 4.0 is $4,050 and 10 cents. I'm down to the pennies. The 5.0, this is the double one. It is 67 and change. I don't remember what the little change is, but it's $6,700 because it's a double system. We also have the DI tanks as well. So whenever I build a skid, long as you're in from Dallas all the way back to California, I can hook you up with the DI tanks. Uh, on the East Coast, I can't. But out here, on, you know, especially California, all of my skids come with two tanks. Now, what business can they start with something like this? All right, auto detailing, uh, window cleaning, or solar panel cleaning. You can use these three skids for all of that. So the, the pros and cons for this one, no cons. The pro is you can put it in the back of a pickup with a bed cover. This one is a single man. So one person using a pressure washer. So this is the one that sells the most. This is what everybody's getting. So this one right here, it comes with your pressure gauge on the, on the pump. That way, if you're running a Solotech C1000 or any other brushes, you have to dial that pressure down or you'll blow up the transmission. It comes with a float valve inside the tank because you don't want to lose no DI water. So if you're up on a roof working, you hook your water up hose to the customer's property, turn the water on, go to work. When the tank gets full, the water is shut off. You always have DI water. You're not on a roof working, and then all of a sudden your tank runs out of water. Now you got to climb down and go fill your tank back up. I alleviate all that. I see a whole bunch of setups up there. Those are for customers already? Those are sold. Damn. So this is the thing. It normally it was a week to two week wait. So I'm really standing on top of my vendors. My nemesis is these 100 gallon water tanks. They're trying to help me out the best they can. So I average maybe five to seven tanks a day. But every skid that you see uh, invoice on, those are sold. Some of the guys are putting deposits down because they're waiting to go get their pickup, their van, or their trailer. And then as soon as they get it, they come here and it's ready to install and go. That way they don't have to wait. So I'm kind of waiting on them, which I don't mind. If you need me to hold on to your skid, get that deposit. Because the way this world is, it's getting worse now in the harbor about parts coming in. So I try to keep parts in here and keep them built, but you never know. So if you want a skid, put a deposit and we'll get it. We'll keep it here for you until you're ready to pick it up. Someone hits you up two days, says, hey, I need the basic, the beginner one. How long would it take you? I've got two. So I got one 4.0 right here, and I have this one right here that are built ready for delivery. Mm. Uh, all the rest of them are already sold. I have one uh, 5.0, the double one, and this is the other thing I didn't talk about. The, the double one is for a two-man team. So if your business is really starting to grow, dude, you want a double. Because that way, if you're out in the neighborhood, you got two-man teams, you guys can tag it and get done real quick. Plus, God forbid, if you have equipment failure. If you have equipment failure, you still got one to finish the job. That way, you're not making a customer upset because you didn't get finished. Because then they'll start thinking, oh, he's got crappy equipment and all this kind of stuff. So the double is the way to go if you can afford it. That way, you always can get double, double time, get it done quicker. Hey, guys, so we're about to get started. Yeah. I hear you guys talking about harnessing steep, What's some advice you have for somebody who wants to get into this? Well, know exactly what you're getting into when you start a job. It's very, very important because um, as you can see here, the pitch on these aren't too bad. But then you go to this home right here, which we're going to be doing uh, next. Um, this house right here has a much steeper pitch. So with that, uh, we have to be more careful because of the equipment that we bring up. So, Got it. Um, a lot of that has to do um, with Spanish style homes. Those right there, the tiles will break a lot easier uh, and you can do more damage if you don't know how to walk on them and, and so forth. All right, Mark, so we got the lift ready. What's the first step into? All right, what are we doing, guys? With Reyes here, normally we don't use a snorkel boom unless we're doing commercial properties, uh, buildings, stuff like that. So with Reyes, I got the snorkel boom out today so he can get in the basket and he can get a top view like a drone. So Reyes is gonna be my drone today. So he's gonna film us, we're all mic'd up. We're gonna show you the myth busters that we're gonna bust that myth about rain clean solar panels. That's a myth, guys. 
We're going to show you these panels how dirty they are, and it just rained the day before yesterday. So I'm about to get up on the roof, get ready, get ready in the basket. As soon as we get up there, we're going to zoom in and we're going to show you the panels. And I'm going to show you how I clean. All right, so we are here at our van, and this is where the magic happens. The magic happens right here. And so we have a 100-gallon tank in here, along with a couple of DI tanks uh, for deionized water. And what that does is that that gives you a spot-free rinse. So when you are uh, out here cleaning solar panels, that's what you want to have. You want to have a spot-free rinse. And we have about 300 feet here of hose that we're going to be extending out. And we're going to take this all the way up to the top. And uh, we're going to show you Mark's method of how he cleans the solar panels. And we're going to show you my method uh, right after that. All right. So you think you can walk me through what equipment you need? I know I saw you guys use like a window foam thingy. Yeah, this is uh, a foam cannon, which he's going to use. Uh, and then he's going to use a simple brush. Uh, I'm going to be a little bit more technical and show you uh, the C1000, which can do about 900 panels in a day. And uh, we're going to show you that also. But with his method, uh, it's going to be a foam cannon and deionized water, spraying it down and with a simple brush. All right, everybody, Mark Sullins from AM Pressure Washing. Today we're doing the Mythbuster deal. I done talked about this on previous videos. The, the social media is saying you don't have to do uh, solar panel maintenance. We got installers that are installing these and telling the customer, oh, there's no maintenance, you never have to clean them or nothing else. Well, check this out. Two days ago it rained. Look at all of these spots on these panels. If you see right here where I'm at, look at my fingers. See all that dust and dirt? That was from two days ago. It's just the same thing as your car. When it, your car gets rained on, you have residue. So out here in Riverside, California, we have a lot of dust. The dust blows on the panels. We get moisture. We get marine layer come in that bonds it to the panel. Get more dust, more marine layer. Rain, more marine layer, more dust. It builds up. So I'm going to show you how I do it. So I'm gonna do a manual cleaning. I use a soap. This soap is for auto detailing, it's for windows, and it's for solar panels. So I mix the panels with the soap, I use a window cleaning brush head, and then I do my rinse with DI water. So here we go. It don't take a lot. All you're doing is just doing a little mist on them. You disconnect your foam cannon, Always set it up here on the top side of your uh, solar panels. You put your window cleaning tilt brush in, or not the window cleaning, but the pressure washing tilt brush in. Got good pressure. Wet the head of your brush, and then you get to work. So the way I do it is I start at the top, work my way to the second one, Hey Mark, I got a question for you. Yes, sir. What's one piece of advice you could give to someone who hasn't done this yet? Don't be scared. Know that you got highest you can harness in. I'm so used to doing it, I don't harness in on roofs, but commercial buildings I do. Start out equipment. I buy these at Home Depot. It's a window cleaning brush, extended pole, and the little blue bristle brush. So you can start out with that, and you can clean your panels. And then when you, you start getting the solar panel farms and the commercial accounts, you want to get it like a C1000, a Solotech C1000. Henry will show you that on the next video. And now you start your next one. Hey Mark. Yes sir. What type of shoes do you have? These are uh, like a rain boot. They have the neoprene on them. I buy mine from Tractor Supply. So you're telling me I can't use my house shoes to well, go clean? You'll have wet feet, buddy. 
Okay. And I like these because they're comfortable. They're not real heavy. They're lightweight. Got it. Go back up here. Now you see how quick that we've done just this one section right here. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 17 panels. That quick. See the glisten in the shine? That soap, I sprayed it over those panels and it can sit there and dry. But when you pressure wash it off with DI water, it peels all the dirt off. I still like to brush them, scrub them, and then do my rinse. So that's it? That's it. What, we, we were here like what, 10 minutes? Right. How much would you charge for something like this? 250 bucks. Dang. Bam, making that money. All right. So you get out there on a two story house, 250, single story house, 200. Get up there between 10 to 30 panels, bid it by job on residential, make that money. So we got done with this one. Another neighbor will see you. Hey, how much you charge? Tell me your price. Can you do mine today? Hell yeah. Get your ass over there and do them panels. Make that money. Stand a pole, a window cleaning brush, and this blue bristle brush. This is good for commercial windows that have the uh, two inch metal frame. You can get in the corners with it. This is just a window cleaning brush. Solar panels, if they're not, if they don't have the bird pee or the bird poop on them, you can use the soft side. But use the soft side until you see that, and then you flip it over to this side and get the bird, uh, poop and pee off. So it's like a little scotch rat pad. It don't hurt the panel, but it gets the bird pee and poop off and then you just rinse them with DI water. This is what I use on office buildings. Whenever I'm cleaning the uh, uh, windows up high, cleaning the window sills, and then your 25 foot extender pole. And it's got the little flip latch that slides it out, flip it back, real quick and simple. I buy mine at Home Depot. All right, Henry, what are we do now? All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to test the water. So what we do is we test the customer's water to make sure the hardness, and then we're gonna test the water that's in the tank itself. So we wanna get close to zeros as possible. So we use this uh, TDS test meter, and I'm just gonna power it on, and it's right at zero. So basically, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this bad boy up with our water, and we're gonna test it and see how well uh, this water's coming out, all the hardness, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I'm just gonna come in here and take a little dip. So what's the purpose of this? The purpose of this is giving the customer deionized water. So we wanna make sure we give them pure deionized water. That's the, the whole point of this. Uh, to spot-free rinse, pretty much. So as you see right here, we're at one. So anything above 100 is when you have to replace uh, the DI tanks. And so we want to make sure that we use um, as much as possible when it comes to deionized water. Okay, right. pure spot free rinse. So one, I mean, that's pretty close, right? That's right. Almost perfect. That's almost perfect. I mean, you, it, you're not going to get zeros that we actually, uh, we clean the solar panels on that one right there. So part of the service is making sure that we leave the customer happy. So the thing with us is customer service. We, we base our business on customer service. That's like, like if you're going to a restaurant, pretty much. Okay, so what uh, Ray is doing now is he's gonna see the tire tracks that were left over here from, uh, from the boom lift. We're gonna basically clean those off and make sure that they are clean customers, not upset because we left a mess. So we do pressure washing also. So we wanna make sure that um, we pressure wash uh, the system down and make sure we get everything uh, lifted and taken off. All right, so the next step right here, what we're going to do is we're gonna use a commercial grade brush. This is called the C1000. This will do about 800 to 900 panels in one day. We use this for commercial uh, accounts. Well, I wanna make sure that you know we get these clean and with this, it will sweep all in one. So I'm gonna put this together real quick, a little bit of WD-40, get the, the threads here, get all that taken care of. So <clears throat> this right here uh, is more for advanced. Uh, if you're a beginner, uh, you know, you're gonna use Mark's brush and, and what have you, but then we can go into a bigger step, bigger uh, scale by having this brush right here. And there we go. And all we're gonna do is just connect this up and we're gonna take this directly to 
uh, the roof itself. How much is something like this cost? Huh? This right here, just the brush head alone is around $4,000. Then you got the pole, which is another $1,700, $1,800. The gooseneck. Um, so, you know, it's, 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 it could run you around $6,000 uh, roughly. Um, and that's just uh, being conservative. But, um, yeah, so... And these last a long time. Uh, this, this has lasted a long time. It's been really good for us. Uh, we've got a lot of business. As a matter of fact, I got my first commercial um, account as soon as I got this brush and I was able to purchase another one. So uh, with that, uh, it really helped our business out. So we get a lot of commercial accounts now because we have the right equipment for it. All right, Henry, so. What's the game plan, man? What's the first step over here? All right, so what we're going to do basically is we're gonna go on top, we're gonna to be using a commercial grade brush and we are going to clean the solar panels just with deionized water only, that's it. Wait a minute, so no soap? No nope. So just rinse it, use the brush and that's it? Well, what's gonna happen is water's gonna go through the brush itself. We don't have to rinse it and we don't have to do any of that. What? Yeah, so. Uh, basically, it's cleaning it at the same time. Water's going through this brush, and the reason why we don't use soap is because it's spinning, and it could it'll just be suzzy at that point. There's no need for it, so we are save a lot of money just by doing that. So we have, you know, Mark's uh, method, which is you know good for the beginners and stuff like that. And then you, now you have our method, which is going to be great for commercial and uh, advanced. Basically, we are going to go on top right here and then we're just gonna go down and clean them. As you can see how dirty they are. Uh, and this brush is basically gonna handle everything by cleaning it. And you'll see when it's spinning and when it's live and when it's ready to go. What a lot of customers, uh, they deal with, um, they deal with uh, the production. The production is lost because even after the rain, they think these right here are clean. They're not. If you run your finger across just like this, you can see you got dirt, okay? And this is our job, this is what we do. We basically come out here and we clean all that off so your productivity bounces right back up to 100% the way it should, okay, when they first got the solar panels. And a lot of people don't realize that solar panels need to be cleaned. They need to be cleaned every six months for residential, for commercial, every three months because commercial uses a lot more in electricity. So you wanna make sure that these are clean. A lot of the salespeople, when they sell you this stuff, they don't tell you this. And so you wanna make sure that um, you educate the customer. That's the most important thing is educating the customer uh, when you are um, cleaning these panels or, or going to clean the panels. All right, Ray, so right here we have a shutoff valve. So this is basically the shutoff valve. We're gonna go ahead and turn this on. Turn this on very slowly. He's gonna lift this up off of the panels to get the water going. You wanna lift that up there. There you go. And here we go. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're basically gonna cut the edge and I'm gonna walk this all the way across. And all we're doing is cutting the edge and making sure that we get on top and then all you guys do is just do one sweep that's it going over the panels themselves Ray back here he's watching the hose for me and that's it we want to extend this bad boy out all we're gonna do extend this out just a little further very easy and we get to the edge we want to do is just glide this all along the bottom just like that nice and smooth and then here we're just going to go ahead and take it up back and forth that's all we're going to do henry that took like a few minutes that's right um so it's a lot easier and this is why we're able to do roughly around 900 panels a day especially on these solar farms or commercial buildings up on top, uh, carports, we do all that. Do you save money with solar panels? Absolutely, you do save money with solar panels. 
and you save even more money when they're clean. Most of my customers call me because they get their bill and when they see that their electricity has increased and they have solar panels, that's when they're giving us a call, when it's too late. And then we go out there and we clean them up and we save them for another six months. Got it. Now let's just say somebody wants to go follow you, check out your work. What can they follow you at? You can follow me on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram. I do have a TikTok, but I haven't been doing a lot on TikTok, but it's hashtag AM pressure washing. Uh, how about you, Henry? Yeah, I am at SoCal Solar Panel Cleaning. I'm also on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. All right, on behalf of AM pressure washing, SoCal Solar Panel Cleaning, Diamond Solar Cleaning, Mark, Henry, and Ray, thank you so much, Russ, for coming out and giving us the opportunity to show you a different uh, field of you know, making revenue. That way you can show it to all your so uh, people that follow you. And guys, you can do it. All you gotta do is have just a little bit of uh, initiative and get out there and make that money. Reyes, thank you so much for coming down. We love you, we appreciate you, and to all your fans. Got it, got it. All right, guys, so there you go. You saw how the solar panel business works, man. You can make a lot of money fast. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you want to see more content, press the like button, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everybody. Peace. Peace.